hey hey i know i said that that next video you saw from us was probably going to be us putting in fence post well this is kind of the preliminary video to that because what we're doing today is very important to getting the fence post up so what you'll see behind me is the very first um fence post that we put in and we put um uh, it's a six by six post we put it in concrete um about three feet in the ground so that this could be our very first corner post what we're going to be doing um, this evening is actually going and setting where our gates are going to be because we're putting the fence post in the ground starting tomorrow and you might wonder why we need to get those um, gates laid out but because of spacing is so that you know where your extra braces and things need to be put in on your fence line you want to lay out and have an idea of where your fences um, where your gates are going and your fence line to begin with so we had originally thought that we would put a gate in the middle of every section if you remember we divided um, this up into six equal paddocks which are one acre each and we thought we would put a gate in the middle of each one but as we got to thinking about it we think we're going to go with the corners because it'll actually allow us to be able to um, feed animals into a corner if we're trying to load them or if we need to um, you know gather them up for some reason um, it'll be easier to get the animals into a corner like feed them into a corner um, and through a gate that way than trying to feed them to the middle of the pasture and you just kind of have animals going everywhere so we're going to start laying out some cattle panels just as our markers um cattle panels are 16 foot we're gonna have 16 foot gates so it'll be a perfect marker so when we start putting in these fence posts we'll know where they are going the only problem is that when we moved cattle panels we sat all this on top of them so we've got to move this stuff so we can get to the cattle panels and we're kind of rushing against the setting sun so let's get going so I told you it was coming soon and here we are we are at day one of putting the fence post actually in the ground so we're gonna be starting at the area that's gonna be the garden um, so we're gonna start right over here for the garden area and go down towards the back of the pastures across the back up well down the side across the back and back up when we get up here to kind of the house area um, it's gonna be a little bit trickier we'll probably go much slower around this area because we're trying to there'll be several gates in this area the other night where we laid out gates along the other five paddocks we got all those in so today is gonna be an exciting day we have been waiting on getting these most in for a long time and we're just really glad that it's finally
this is the very first corner of what is gonna be my garden. They're going down this way and almost at the um, edge of the first acre. When we get down there, I'll show you. Um, we're gonna have a little bit of a different post because the fence will be pulling in different directions. So I will show you that when we get there. Um, if you don't know, this is called a post driver. This is not a post hole digger. Um, like you see that like spins around. My husband had a farm accident with a post hole digger. Um, I don't know how many years ago now, maybe. He would know, I could ask him. Maybe 25 years ago. But, um, so we are using this post driver. Is it like the best day ever, Riley, getting to watch them? Yeah? What's your favorite? Yeah. The post driver? It's pretty cool, huh? You got the perfect seat. He's up in the warmth watching the post driver. We're out in the cold and the wind working the post driver. I just put lunch on the grill. So you can see we've made it to the second acre now. So the first acre corner is right here where we put in a six by six post here. You can see where we laid, remember we came and laid out candle, cattle panels the other night so we can mark off where our gates are gonna be. So this is a gate between the first, well, this will be the gate into the second acre pasture. We're gonna come back and do the cross fencing here because there will also run a line from here over towards the shed um, because this is actually the back side of my garden. So this is this side of my garden. This keeps the cow, the chickens out of the garden area. So, we are now working on the second acre post. So gate's gonna be hung here. And then you've got your two brace sections and then we'll be straight line down till we get to the other end of the second acre post. Well, starting the, third, the next third acre there. The moon showed up for work early today. All right, end of the first day of putting in fence posts and we got the front three acres and started down the side. You can see here, shine into the sun a little bit. Um, but that's it for today. We made a lot of great progress. I'm really pleased with how it's looking and we are gonna be out here tomorrow and work on it some more. So it'll take us a few days to get the post in. Then we have to go back and put braces in before we can start putting the, the actual um, fence wire up. So we'll get to that, follow along so you can keep track of what this is gonna start looking like. Don't forget to give us a like and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And we'll see you next time right here at Cram Farms.